Our multiple encounters with Chevrolet's second-generation cruise sedan have been entirely cordial. It placed third in a recent five-car comparison test, in which the modest compact pleased us with its quiet cabin and good looks, as well as its overall comfort. We ranked it ahead of the Hyundai Elantra and the Nissan Sentra in that test but found it less compelling than the Honda Civic or the Mazda 3. Essentially, it snags the middle-of-the-pack praise we once reserved for the solid goods Karawa, before the Toyota took a lazy turn toward apathy in recent years. Hardly exciting stuff, but for 2017 the cruise's story is somewhat caffeinated by the addition of a four-door hatchback model. The hatch answers the call for a more useful cruise variant here in the US, giving Chevrolet a shot at the growing interest in compact hatchbacks. The previous generation cruise was available as a hatch elsewhere in the world, at Ford, 40% of Focus sales in 2015 were the hatchback model, and Chevrolet has never stopped watching its crosstown rival, and vice versa. Unlike Ford, however, General Motors has not seen fit to bring us a hot hatch like those it offers in Europe, and to Chevy, the letters RS denote nothing more than an option package containing wheel and appearance upgrades. The lack of aspiration beyond practicality is evident in the Chevy suspension tuning, steering ratio, wheel sizes, and styling forward of the back doors, all being more or less identical to those of the refined but decidedly unsporty sedan. The liftback model at least looks more interesting. The roof sweeps down more aggressively to meet the steeply raked rear window, and the entire caboose is 8.4 inches stubbier than the sedan's, landing the hatch a chunky forward-leaning appearance. The only bad angle is the dead-on rear view, where the dimensional tweaks and sloped rear end have a flattening effect that, to our eyes, makes its butt look too pancaked. The priority placed on styling results in a smallish hatch opening set somewhat high off the ground, situated above a tall rear bumper and squeezed between the car's haunches. Those who remember the short-lived Saturn, nay Opel, Astro will recognize the approach here sacrificing practicality for appearance. The more squared-off Volkswagen Golf leads the class for size and ease of use, but the cruise's hatch opening doesn't seem any smaller or higher than, say, that of the Mazda 3. Cargo space behind the rear seats is 23 cubic feet, 3 cubes more than is available in the Ford and the Mazda. There are 47 cubes in the Chevy with the back seats folded, which matches Mazda and beats Ford by 2. When lowered, the rear seat backrests lie nearly flat and leave only a small lip between the surface they create and the flat load floor. For its part, the practical Golf measures in at 23 cubic feet with its seats up and a whopping 53 with its seats down. Yeah.